Jack Deal agreed to meet tomorrow to discuss Police and Public Service Commission's appointments, another bag with illegal items thrown over prison's fence, and a former guy in the gold border content slapped with six fraud charges. These and more right now in our Wednesday, July 18 edition of MTV's News Update. I'm Ashley Scotland. Good evening to our viewers in Guyana and online. Opposition leader Bar Jagdia warns that policemen should brace themselves for possible unfair treatment if President David Granger decides to unilaterally appoint his nominee to head the Police Service Commission. Jagdia and Granger are due to meet tomorrow to discuss the appointment. Details from Sandy Ramotor. During a news conference, opposition leader Barrett Jagdio said he and the president are expected to discuss appointments to the police service and public service commissions. The opposition leader poured cold water on the president's nominee to head the police service commission, stating that the person is politically biased and campaigned openly with the APNU AFC in past elections. I believe it's worrying because policemen will not be treated fairly policemen with that individual chairing the Police Service Commission. Now we further demoralize the police force. The life of the last Police Service Commission ended in September 2017. During the meeting, Jack Deer will also use the opportunity to question the President on several other issues of public interest. And so, it is Gaisuko and the bond that is one, because we believe we are borrowing billions of dollars that will harm the Treasury. I, not so much, guys. So I, I'm in favor of more if they have a clear plan. Sandy Ramutar for MTV's News Update. Uh, this is MTV News Update. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Optic Vision Care, we value the power of your sight. And with our team of eye care professionals, you'll be in good hands. Come experience our comprehensive eye examination using state-of-the-art technology and specialized diagnostic equipment at four convenient locations. In Mahaika, Grove, Giftland Mall, and East Street. At Optique, we care, you see. Call us today, 227-7744. The whispers in the morning Of love and sleep and tight Are rolling by like thunder now As I look Hi, I'm Ashley Scotland and we are here at Nisha's Flowerland. Now, I know you may be thinking it is quite unusual to give the dads flowers for Father's Day. Having trouble with your vehicle and can't seem to find your spare parts? Then check out Caribbean Motor Spurs at 174 Zealot Public Road North, East Bank, Essequibo. We stock brands such as Tenacity, Johnson Products, JHF filters, Comax radiators with warranty, and so much more. We also do orders for hard-to-find auto parts, so don't hesitate. Come in and meet our experienced and knowledgeable staff or call us on 609-7621 or 630-4394. styles simply different the best quality for you are the slim jet because you deserve the best the slim jet introducing the latest for lifters this one make pressure in the abdomen enhance the butt you can wear any kind of cloth and nobody knows if you have something under 
we also introduced the board lifter with hooks. It's easy for you to wear and you can, you can adjust in different positions. Only at the Slim Jet in City Mall or Gibbland Mall. Introducing the new Softex Soft toilet, toilet tissue, tissue, now available across Guyana. Softex is silky smooth because it's made from virgin pulp. Softex is soft and gentle, soft to, and every gentle touch. to every touch. Even babies can use it. Manufactured and distributed by BPATS Paper Manufacturing, Eccles Industrial Site. The, the choice, choice is clear. clear. Two Softex toilet tissue, super soft and super durable, guaranteed. Visit Gaffer's Ironmongery Department for all your building needs. Bolts and nuts, zinc plated, high tensile, anchor bolts and treaded rods. Package nails for your convenience, screws for wood, metal and concrete. Building a fence, we've got cast iron railheads and decorative fencing, gate slides and pivots, laser and barbed wire. For your carpentry needs, we stock tight bond, wood glues and evo stick. Hasps and staples, hinges, butts, catches and brackets, and a wide selection of modern design cupboard handles and knobs. Secure your property and loved ones with quality Yale products such as padlocks, available in several sizes and types. Knobs, lever, deadlocks and decorative door locks. Moving heavy loads is easy with caster wheels and hand trucks that cater for any job. For construction, we've got scaffolding along with ladders, multi-purpose, extended, fiberglass and step ladders too. For everything you need on the one roof, it's Gaffoos, the name you can trust. Welcome back, you are with News Update. Ranks of the New Amsterdam prisons this morning intercepted a huge bag containing several illegal items, including narcotics, cigarettes and alcohol. Acting Prison Director Gladwin Samuels said the bag was recovered at about 4 hours 16, containing 3 parcels of suspected marijuana, 32 packs of cigarettes and white rum amongst other items. The prison's administration in recent months has been battling the issue of illegal items being smuggled into the prison. Recently, Sammy Wells told reporters he suspected prison wardens were colluding with prisoners and their relatives to allow into the jails contraband, including large quantities of narcotics, along with cellular phones and other luxury products. As the annual Tushaus conference wraps up tomorrow, opposition leader Bar Jagdu believes the Amerindian leaders will return to their villages with many unanswered questions. Details from Sandy Ramatar. He did not address the issues, the big issues, the revision of their, their Amerindian land titling issue, the constitutional reform issues. This is what they were saying that he broke his promise on, not a little piece of land at Turkheim. Opposition leader Barbara Jagdeo. This came on the heels of a statement made by the president that his government has not broken any promises made to Amerindians in its 2015 elections manifesto. On the sidelines of the annual Tushaus conference, the head of state denied breaking manifesto promises to the indigenous community. Jagdeo says such reactions will never give Amerindians an opportunity to interrogate their leaders. This, Jagdeo says, will see Tushaus returning to their villages with unanswered questions. The People's Progressive Party is expected to engage to Shouse tomorrow to discuss the challenges faced in indigenous communities. Sandy Ramutar for MTV's News Update. People's Progressive Party presidential hopeful Charles Ramson Jr. believes the move by the government to sole source hundreds of millions of dollars in pharmaceuticals from a company that has no history of supplying drugs to Guyana is a vehicle for corruption. Kipani Jordan reports. The Ministry of Public Health, headed by Valda Lawrence, continues to be bashed for sole sourcing HDM Labs to supply pharmaceuticals at U.S. $1.7 million. HDM Labs was not part of the bidding process, but was yet handpicked to receive the contract in 2017. Following up on the matter, PPP presidential hopeful Charles Ramson Jr. has come out to criticize the ministry, stating that it has breached the Procurement Act. The Ministry of Public Health is being used as a vehicle for corruption. Ramson Jr. also said the ministry had no reason to sole source the drugs as not only were the bidders known but they all bid lower than the cost the ministry paid to HDM Labs. The highest bid that, it, that has been uh, tendered was 190 million dollars. 
This award was for $367 million, 1.8 million U.S. dollars. From documents obtained by News Update, HDM Labs registered as a business in Guyana in 2012. However, no business has been done by the company between 2012 and 2016, according to a financial statement from R.C. Baran and Company, the retained chartered accountants. There has been no financial statement for the year 2017 for HDM Labs, the said year they were awarded the multi-million dollars contract by the Public Health Ministry. Meanwhile, the Public Health Ministry in a statement said that six companies including HDM Labs participated in the bid for the supply of emergency drugs. The statement said all six companies failed to meet the evaluation criteria at the preliminary stage. The statement continues, all six companies were then asked by letter to resubmit bids, but only one company, HDM Labs, responded. The National Procurement and Tender Administration Board then recommended that the contract be awarded having completed its evaluation report, the statement concluded. Minister Lawrence also said the publishing of the information comes at a time when a certain critical political decision is imminent and hopes it is not part of what would be a sinister campaign to influence its decision. It is believed Lawrence was referring to her bid to become the People's National Congress Reform Chairperson. Kippany Jordan reporting for MTV's News Update. The city constabulary is reporting a spike in crimes in the city, particularly robberies. However, when asked to commend, City Mayor Patricia Chase Green was clueless. Details in this report. There have been a spike and increase in terms of robberies over the last uh, two to three months, but we found that within the last week, the last week within the Starbuck area, Avenue of the Republic, and in terms of we had in terms of two or three yesterday, just along Regent Street, Avenue of the Republic outside of City Hall. He further stated that the city constabulary is understaffed by approximately 100 persons. In response, Mayor Chase Green said, this is the first time she has heard of a spike in crime for over two months. She also explained that other than financial constraints, the standards for employment with the city constabulary were lowered, which has seen them put a hold on the employment of persons. No, I'm hearing it now for the first time from you. And if there is an increase in crime, the chief council will say what is his plans. It's not for the council. It's for the chief constable, who is in charge of the city constabulary, to put in place a plan and to ensure that wherever there is an increase in crime, that he has adequate security in and around the markets. Recently, thieves broke into the Elsie Prasad Maharaj and Sons jewelry establishment in the Starbrook market and carted off with over $20 million worth of gold and diamond jewelry. Three vendors of the said market were subsequently charged for that heist. Kippany Jordan reporting for MTV's News Update. The National Touche House Council has made it clear that the $16 million subvention received from the government is not sufficient. Details from Sandy Ramatar. Um, what we know is that we haven't had a lot of traction in having our recommendations taken on board with this, uh, with this administration. We're hopeful that the incoming one would have um, a better go at that than we did. Vice Chairman of the National Toshaus Council, Lennox Schumann. While there has been some success, he claims nothing substantial was done for Amerindians in the last three years. $16 million were given to the Council in 2015 to promote governance in all the indigenous villages. It is still not, uh, what I'd say, enough for us to execute our mandate. Our mandate, when we did our assessment, is roughly upwards of eight million dollars per year that is required and this is just to go out to communities and get these issues in and see how you could build this framework and all those things and we have never been able to get to that point. This includes investigating matters as requested by a village and making recommendations to the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs. The body comprises of one to show from each administrative region along with other selected officials. The executive serves for a period of three years. Sandy Ramutar for MTV's News Update. A two-day training has opened for officials from several agencies involved in the fight against human trafficking in Guyana. More in this report. Competencies 
are going to be enhanced to the extent that being a person as trained as far as possible, you could identify the forestry offense as well as the mining offense as well as the wildlife offense. Minister of Public Security Kamrad Ramjatan addressing more than 44 participants. The two-day training for agencies on the task force against human trafficking is aimed at enhancing the skill set and response of the officers operating on the ground. And so it's in that context then I feel that I should pay some mention, make mention of the work done by the task force. Even though Guyana has maintained its tier one status by meeting the minimum requirements for the elimination of trafficking in persons for the second year in a row, there were still areas in which Guyana has fell short. As such, the U.S. State Department has recommended the government take several actions. Among them were training of law enforcement, judiciary officials, and frontline responders, especially those working outside the capital on victim identification and referral procedures. Finalizing the written identification procedures to better guide law enforcement officials provide additional protection for victims to enable them to testify against traffickers in a way that minimizes re-traumatization, record the number of cases reported to the trafficking hotline to promote a rapid investigative and victim assistance response, and provide training for diplomatic personnel on human trafficking were some of the other recommendations. Kippany Jordan reporting for MTV's News Update. More news after the break. Stay with us. Future Shop is the absolute best place to shop if you're looking for quality products at the lowest prices in the widest possible variety. Choose from a vast array of custom-made quality wooden furniture in endless designs, electrical and household appliances, clothing, cell phones and accessories, and much, much more. Me so much in this store, guys. Me Pio's Future Shop and Household Appliances, located at Anna Caterina, West Coast Demerara. Free delivery available. Credit? No, me know the secret. I like all you know the secret. Everybody, Everybody know the secret. <laughs> by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily, Monday through Saturday, to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. Hey, you have a growing flesh there, and there too, and there is another one. Those ugly and annoying growing flesh, like a plague, ignoring them, and before you know, you have them everywhere. Slimjet presenting Coliomac, the most effective growing flesh and wall remover. Painlessly remove ugly growing flesh is the quick and effective way. Get soft, smooth, growing flesh free skin, guarantee. Just apply Colomac twice a day and the growing flesh just dry up and fall off. Easy, quick and painless. It stops suffering and feeling embarrassed. Remove those ugly growing flesh with Colomac. Only at the Slim Jet, City Mall, second floor. 
Looking for fresh, tender, and flavorful meat? Then check out Rosignol Butchery for steaks, burgers, sausages, minced meat, fish, and chicken. For a tasty, attractive cocktail, we have a wide variety of packaged deli meats and cheeses to decorate your platter. We also stock a wide assortment of canned goods, seasoning salts, sauces, and marinade. All in a highly hygienic, welcoming atmosphere with warm and welcoming staff to cater to all your needs. Rosignol Butchery, we meet your needs. 73 to 74 Church Street, Georgetown. Telephone number 223 00 Did you know almost one third of deaths in Guyana are heart related? Chronic inflammation is the root cause of atherosclerosis, the process that leads to cholesterol clogged arteries. You can now lower high triglyceride levels with Omega XL and reduce the dangerous inflammation that causes these problems. So to ensure a healthy heart and reduce your risk of disease, get your Omega XL today. Live long, stay strong with Omega XL. Mark? I'm in the kitchen. Make an impression with the finest styles imported by Lens. Lens has a huge selection of various styles for your wall, floor, and pool needs. All of our towels are of grade A quality, which are the highest quality tile rated. That means they last longer and are less likely to damage or crack. We're the sole distributor for many reputable companies around the world. At Lens, we have special deals for contractors and bulk shoppers. Shop at any of our three locations to get the best in towels. Lens, our product, your creation. Welcome back. You are watching MTV's News Update. Despite many imperfections of the Guyana Police Force, Acting Commissioner David Ramnarine is boasting of the force's success rate in solving crimes. However, what Ramnarine is considering solving of murders is merely a few confessions and charges laid against accused persons. Godfrey Brooms reports. Members of the Guyana Police Force have had the cause to arrest their fellow officers as some were found breaching the law, especially trafficking in narcotics. Only on Saturday last, police stopped a car on the Damarara Harbor Bridge and unearthed 927 grams of cannabis packed in small-sized Ziploc bags. The driver, a member of the Joint Services, along with the three male occupants, was arrested. Also, on Friday, July 13, a tactical services unit rank was intercepted at Coven John East Coast de Demerara with 46.2 pounds of marijuana. In the wake of these incidences, Police Commissioner Acting David Ramnarain has declared that the GPF is imperfect. We are not perfect as no human is perfect. And when our imperfections are reported, by whatever means, we have never failed to take the appropriate action. Regardless of the force's blemishes, the top cop acting stated that major work is being done to arrest the crime. Speaking proudly of the successes of the force, Ramnarine noted that officers have been able to solve most of the country's murders for the year. Of the 44 murders reported this year, 36 or 81 percent were solved, a very high percentage indeed. However, the top cop did not elaborate on what he considers solving a murder since charging someone is just the one phase in solving a case. It is only after the court found someone guilty of a crime that matter is solved. Based on cases to which Ramnarine spoke, it may be a situation where the police managed to lay charges in 81% of the murders. However, on the grounds of presumption of innocence, those are charged are innocent until proven guilty. Godfrey Brooms, MTV News Update. The Ghana Press Association considers President David Granger's posture not to hold news conferences an insult to the media fraternity. President David Granger recently said he was too busy with travel to hold media engagements. Here again is Godfrey Brooms. Since assuming office in May 2015, President David Granger only held two press conferences. 
When questioned recently on the topic, the president said he was too busy. So I'm asking the media to be tolerant. My heart is in the right place, but um, right now I have had a, a really difficult uh, period of public engagements and overseas travel. The president had been engaging two members of the press at a time at a pre-recorded program called The Public Interest, but even that program has been discontinued. Today, the Guyana Press Association endorsed the recent criticisms of President David Granger's failure to hold the periodic press conferences. In a statement, the GPA said, and I quote, the resort by the Ministry of the Presidency to a Starbrook News editorial is nothing but a shameless insult to the intelligence of the media corps and, by extension, the Guyanese public at large. End of quote. The GPA went on to state that the president barely speaks to the media for five minutes after any official engagement. The statement said, as opposition leader, the media were summoned to weekly press conferences by Granger or told that he was available for public comments and interviews. The GPA strongly said sideline interviews cannot be substituted for press conferences as it awaits the announcement of frequent press conferences with the head of state. Godfrey Brooms, MTV News Update. In observance of its 181st anniversary, the constabulary staff has seen some changes to their attire and the way in which procedures are conducted. Details in this report. The constabulary also would have in terms of effective, effected a change of uniform. Um, traditionally, we've been wearing in terms of the black uniforms. But currently, you would have seen in terms of the ranks being in a blue and a black. Full further explained, the change of the uniform was approved by the council and cost $6 million overall. The chief constable said the team is in need of further training, but the training center is in a deplorable state for some time and is in need of repairs. While on the same topic, the mayor says they have reached out and asked that the police force collaborates with them so that the city constabulary officers benefit from training should the need arise. So there are no excuses for the state of the building. You must be willing to learn and to move to higher heights and not just depend on your years of service to get you where you want to be. And that's all I see on that. Kippany Jordan reporting for MTV's News Update. As part of the efforts to reduce mercury poisoning in the mining sector, village leaders at the annual National Tushas Conference were urged to educate villages on safer approaches to mining. Minister of Natural Resources Raphael Trotman says the mercury poisoning stemming from the mining sector is a matter which is of immense concern to his ministry. Minister Trotman was at the time addressing the National Tushaus Council annual conference at the Ardachang Conference Center. We've always seen mercury as something that is uh, used by miners in the interior, but it has come home and it is a wake-up call to us. We cannot afford to be complacent when it comes to mercury, it is poisoning our rivers, our food, our waters. Back in April, six staff of the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission, GGMC, tested positive for mercury poisoning. Those particular tests had followed as a result of the deaths of four GGMC employees over a six-month period. With further investigation from the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, GGMC was able to determine the source of the mercury poisoning. Meanwhile, Commissioner General of the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission, Newell Dennison, in his address, indicated that village leaders are also tasked with the responsibility to ensure safer mining practices from miners. We need to also be responsible as individuals and communities because it is our own relatives and friends and cousins and whomever who are actually mining. I know not all of you mine, but I'm sure everybody is connected to a mine in some way. And it is these people that we have to try to influence. 
It is hoped that by 2024, there will be a complete eradication of mercury in the mining sector, as the government now seeks to sign on to the Minimata Convention. Reporting from TV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. Several families residing at Vreden Rust Demerara River are claiming that their privately owned lands are being illegally utilized by geologist Grantley Waldron for the extraction and export of large quantities of sand. However, Waldron, a former Geology and Mines Commissioner, denies the allegations. Daphne Sampson and her son Frankie Sampson, along with Desmond Major, are claiming that the lands on which Grantley Waldron operates, a sand mining and export business, rightfully belongs to them. Though the matter is still before the courts, the trio explained, despite Waldron was in April ordered to cease all work on the lands at the end of a six-week period, he continues to work on their lands. The lawyer asks for um, six weeks stay of execution to work. And the six weeks finish, and he apply for uh, um, more time. The judge didn't grant him, and he appealed the matter. And the, the appeal, the 23rd of April, uh, we went before the, uh, the judge, and the judge granted in our favor that um, you have to stop work. He continued to export in the sand, so he disregarded the court order. So what is really going on? He disregarded the court order, and the ship is going to know. So who, what, what, what more can we do? According to Frankie Sampson, Waldron has no documentation to state his claim to work on the lands, despite him claiming the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission had in June 1993 issued him a quarrying license. To date, Mr. Waldron cannot show, and that is after 20 years, he cannot show any legal document coming from Lands Earth and Survey or anywhere else to prove that he has ownership to the land. What he's claiming is that he is working on state land and in actuality he is not working on state land, he is working on private property. Meanwhile, Grantley Waldron in response said that the cease work ordered was rescinded by the GGMC since it was improperly granted. He said that the injunction is specific to parcels 13, 14, 15 and 16 and the company has since ceased working on those plots pending the outcoming of a matter currently before the court. However, he said the company continues to work on parcels 17 and 18, for which the company has a legitimate quarry license. Waldron also provided several photos to support his claim that he has ceased work on some of the lands. Meanwhile, a check of Waldron's quarry license revealed that the document expired since last month. When asked, he said he is still extracting and exporting sand from the land, even as he awaits the renewal of the documents. He, however, refused to comment further since the matter is currently engaging the Chief Justice. Contact was also made with the Office of the Commissioner General of the Geology and Mines Commission and his secretary informed that he was in office but was unavailable to speak with this newscast. Reporting for MTV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. Roger Schlager now joins us with today's Tech Wrap. Good evening and welcome to this week's edition of Star Technology Wrap. As always, I'm your host Rajesh Lakhan along with Rochelle and Yannick. And this week we'll be touching on a variety of bags and accessories that Star Computer has to offer. Guys, go ahead and tell us about it. Okay, well, as you can see in the background here, we do have a wide variety of bags available. And most of these bags, their main functionality are for laptops. Uh -huh. But a lot of people double them for other functions. For example, I'm holding one of the ladies' bag that I think is very cute and stylish that you can use for multiple, multiple purposes. For example, traveling, you can put documents, you know, 
we do have other um, ladies one as well that you can come down and check out. I know Yannick has a really nice one there too. It seems like a traveling bag. Yeah. Yes, um, actually this is a travel, it can work as a traveling bag as Rachel said. Also you can use it as a gym bag and it also works as a backpack because it has the straps too. So it, this is multifunctional, you know, it's, it works in different, different ways. And you know, at Star Computers that's what we're all about. We have great gift ideas, great um, products here available right here at Star Computers for our customers. Okay, well, we have also um, bags that are great for school. You know, persons are, they, they like to say that our bags are very durable. You know, some mothers have actually came back and said, you know, I haven't had to buy a bag in two years or so, you know. So the bags are very sturdy here and um, they, they're functional for, you know, your laptops. You can put laptops in it. You can carry a lot of books and they're, they're really, really great. And we have them in different colors. As you can see, we have red, green, different colors that you may want. And tell us, do you guys currently have in these bags? Well, we, besides from having a wide variety on them, of course, we do have um, deals every week. This uh -huh. week right now, we just want to bring awareness of all the different types of bags available because as Yannick mentioned, backpack, handbags, you know, you can double these as a gym bag or whatever you want. Also, I want to mention that we do have other accessories, for example, power bank that is very, uh, very uh, handy for people on the go. Basically, you can use your, your power bank to plug in to your phone and charge it if your phone battery is running low. And we have them in different uh, sizes, which would be able to determine how many charging you can get out of one full charge. Okay. So you can come down and check that out as well. Apart from the, the battery pack, what are the accessories? Well, um, also we have Bluetooth speakers, you know, for persons who are into music and, you know, you're on the go. We have very um, handy speakers that you can use with your phone. And um, we also have a lot of little uh, knickknacks, I would say, that you can use while you're, you're out and about. So make sure you check us out at, um, at, at Facebook. You can check us out on Facebook, like our page and share it. And remember to continue watching. Thank you. Is there any yes, remember to like us as Yannick said on Facebook and come down and check us out. We're located at 59 Brick Dam and also you can come and check out our fully loaded a new Samsung corner downstairs that is still really, really eye catcher. You gotta come and check it out. Well, thank you guys. And that's all we have for you in this week's edition of Star Technology Wrap. Do join us next week, Wednesday, for another edition. A former Guyana Gold Board accountant slapped with several fraud charges. Chelsea Griffith now joins us with today's court roundup. Former Guyana Gold Board accountant was today slapped with several charges for the manipulation of documents in order to scam the entity millions of dollars. Rosanna Ramnarain, 34, of Nandi Park, East Bank de Marara, appeared before Senior Magistrate Fabio Azor and denied the six charges. The first charge read that Ramnarain, between February 1, 2017 and April 30, 2017, at the Guyana Gold Board, she, with intent to defraud, issued a payment advice of $336,287, which belonged to Edward Hopkinson on March 21, 2017. It is also alleged that the former accountant conspired with person known and unknown to forge a GGB payment advice number 80782 from Hopkinson dated March 21, 2017. During the same period, it is alleged that Ramnarine stole $336,207 belonging to Hopkinson which was taken in possession on behalf of her employer. The other charges stated that Ramnarine between April 30, 2017 and June 30, 2017 while being a clerk or servant, she falsified a document number 81475 belonging to Brian Chase purporting to show that $288,583 was received on May 2017. It is alleged that she also conspired with person known and unknown to forge a GGB payment invoice number 81475 dated May 30, 2017. The last charge read that during April and June of 2017, Ramnarine, while being a clerk or servant, stole $200 
$288,583, which was taken in possession on behalf of her employer. Her attorney, Jed Vasconcelos, made an application for reasonable bail and told the court that his client is unemployed. The magistrate released from the Rhine on $50,000 bail for each of the six charges. The matter is adjourned until July 23. A 43-year-old Mabaruma Northwest District laborer was today slapped with a manslaughter charge. Junior Abrams, also known as Black Boy, appeared before the Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan for the unlawful killing of Elroy Marks on July 14 at Kumaka Waterfront. Northwest District. He was unrepresented and was remanded to prison. The matter has been transferred to the Mabaruma Magistrates Court for August 20. The incident occurred during a drinking spree on July 14. Investigations revealed that the victim and suspect who were known to each other were imbibing at a shop when an argument ensued and escalated into a fight during which the suspect allegedly broke a bottle and stabbed the victim to the left side of his neck. It was mentioned as the victim collapsed, the suspect fled the scene but was later arrested and charged. Marks was subsequently rushed to the Mabaruma Regional Hospital in an unconscious state where he succumbed to the injury while receiving treatment. Chelsea Griffith reporting for MTV's Court Roundup. Regional and international news and the Guyana Stock Exchange coming up after the break. business i noticed you yesterday you're there watching 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 today you're there here again why are you minding my business i fed up your nosy self yeah baby i just love your windows why are you bothering me window like you house single window what kind of window really in your house i got some all over windows that i need to change louvers <laughs> that's that it people still got louvers windows girl i let you in for a secret right Peace and got a special deal right now. You go along there, you buy 10 window, you get a free bathroom window. Oh, for the love of God, try with them louvers window and go along to Peace and modernize. Peace and windows and doors. Serving Guyana with the highest quality windows for your home, office, or commercial building. When reliability is not an option, you need a supplier you can trust. This skilled technician depends on Forfin and Mendes for heavy duty tools. This landscaper earns a living using still equipment. High rates of production and recovery lead to this sawmiller trusting his operation to wood miser. Mothers trust the water filtration systems for the health of their families. Thanks to the automatic backup systems, you'll never be left in the dark again. Farfan and Mendes, offering you solutions you can depend on. Are you planning a trip for business or leisure and looking for the most direct and economic offers? But you confuse? And instead of heading to the internet and searching websites for best deals, you simply need to contact the travel professionals at Munich War Travel Service, 45 Water Street, Churchtown. Their well-trained travel advisors with years of experience will assist you in booking your flight, accessing all airlines, hotels, car rentals at the most competitive prices to match your budget. Their customer service is second to none. Their qualified travel consultants will make you dream of seeing the world and ensuring your trip be the perfect one a travel experience beyond your expectations they'll give you the best value to save time and money provide 24-hour service to fix problems if things go wrong during your trip giving you options you haven't considered if you haven't decided where you want to go arrange group travel accepting all major credit cards both local and overseas daily deals available which are also available online so call visit or email them to have the experience of their immaculate service munich war travel service 45 water street georgetown 59 Two 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 seven six nine nine two or two two five two nine four seven or drop us an email British War Travel at Yahoo.com. GBTI will make it a summer to remember. Going on vacation, doing in-store or online shopping, do it with GBTI's visa. Get a chance to win an all-inclusive trip to Baganara Island Resort, dinner for two at New Driving Restaurant, and gift certificates from Massey Stores. GBTI, your friend, your bank. Welcome to Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., Guyana's sole distributor of NP and Ultra Lubricants, SKF bearings, seal and belts, international trucks and parts, and NAPA batteries. With a bond capacity of 30,000 square foot, we offer superior brands at affordable prices and the best after-sale service. ISG supplies sustainable integrated solutions to make your business a growing success. Visit us at our new main office at Lot 4Q Peters Hall, ISG, the best opportunity to make the right choice. 
Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Everything is connected. Our planet, our water sources, including the water we drink. Sometimes harmful bacteria end up in our streams and canals. Although treated, the risks are high. You can prevent this pollution and contamination by maintaining your septic tank and grease traps. Call the experts at Puran Brothers Disposal Incorporated on 264-1239 or 603-5050. Keeping it clean is what we do best. Excellent Creole dishes. Fresh bread and pastries. Yes, breakfast and lunch available fresh Mondays through Fridays. We open 7 a.m. Delivery available. Wholesale breads and pastries available soon. Call 219-5003. With three locations, Lot 5 Tennis Street, Sophia, 36 Durban Street, GPO Building, Dion's Delight Catering Service. We cater for all occasions. In the region, the Nicaraguan city of Masaya, which has been at the center of anti-government protests, is back under state control, the government says. The announcement comes after forces law to President Daniel Ortega violently clashed with activists in the Munimbo neighborhood on Tuesday. Residents described coming under siege from police and paramilitaries. Human rights groups say the number of people killed in three months of anti-government protests now exceeds 300. Internationally, U.S. President Donald Trump has lashed out at haters who condemned his meeting with Russia's president. On Twitter, Mr. Trump said his critics were suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. The broadside came a day after he said he misspoke during Monday's Helsinki summit when he appeared to side with Vladimir Putin over claims of Kremlin meddling in U.S. elections. Despite the controversy, Republican voters seem to be sticking by Mr. Trump. Responding on Twitter on Wednesday morning, the Republican president said his critics would rather go to war and wanted to see a boxing match between him and Mr. Putin. The Guyana Stock Exchange closing prices for trading session 782. Let's turn our attention to the Demra Harbour Bridge and the Burbies River Bridge schedules. That's a wrap on today's broadcast. Before we go, here is a reminder of our top stories. Jack Dio going to meet tomorrow to discuss police and public service commissions appointments. Another bag with illegal items thrown over prison's fence. And former guy in a gold board accountant slapped with six fraud charges. Catch our rebroadcast at 23 hours today and at 6 hours 30 tomorrow. On behalf of our news and technical teams, I am Ashley Scotland. Thank you for watching. Good night.